Hello everyone and welcome to our new video and our new video is about the Taylor series and, and Taylor series is turning a function into a polynomial polynomials graph that is shifted over to the left or the left side and today's function will be e to the power of x and the center of c will be 1 so we have our center c which is equal to 1 and our function e to the power of x we will equal it to the poly our polynomials equation but our polynomials equation is since being moved over to the left or the left side we have we write down c sub 0 plus c sub 1 times minus 1 since our center c is 1. Then we add on to c sub 2 times x minus 1 to the power of 2 plus c sub 3 times x minus 1 to the power of 3 plus c sub 4 times x minus 1 to the power of 4 and plus c sub 5 times x minus 1 to the power of 5 plus dot dot dot, meaning it goes on forever. Then, setting all of it aside, we write our function e to the power of x, and then when we have f1, so plugging in the 1 as to the x's value, so then we have e to the power of 1, which is just e, then we, then we differentiate the e to the power of x, so then we get f prime x is equal to e to the power of x. So they're just the same thing. So it's pretty obvious that our f prime 1 is equal to the e. So we will be doing this until we hit f to the power of 5x. So we have f prime prime x is equal to e to the power of x. Our f prime prime 1 is equal to e. Our f prime 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 x is equal to e to the power of x. Our f prime 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 1 is equal to e. f to the power of 4x is equal to e to the power of x. So our f to the power of 4, 1 is equal to e f to the power of 5x is equal to e to the power of x so then we get to the f so then we get a f to the power of 5 1 is equal to e so for our original function we will set x as equal to 1 so we have f 1 is equal to just c sub 0 because plugging in 1 after the c sub 0's term all of them just become 0 so yeah nothing goes there and here it says that f sub 1 is equal to e so our value for c sub 0 is equal to e so c sub 0 is equal to e then we differentiate this long function so then we get f prime x which then is equal to c sub 1 plus 2 times c sub 2 times x minus 1 plus 3 times c sub 3 times x minus 1 to the power of 2 plus 4 times c sub 4 times x minus 1 to the power of 3 plus 5 times c sub 5 times x minus 1 to the power of 4 plus dot dot dot. Now we set our x as equal to 1. So we have f prime 1 is equal to just c sub 1. And here it says that f prime 1 is equal to e. So that is our value for c sub 1. So again, we have a C sub by a number that is equal to E. And 
and we differentiate this function now of f prime x, then we have f prime prime x, which is equal to 2 c 2 times c sub 2 plus 2 times 3 times c sub 3 times x minus 1 plus 3 times 4 times c sub 4 times x minus 1 to the power of 2 plus 4 times 5 times c sub 5 times x minus 1 to the power of 3 plus dot dot dot. Then we set x as equal is as equal to 1. So we have just 2 times c sub 2. And here it says that f prime prime 1 is is equal to e. So our value for c sub 2 is equal to e to the power of 2. Now we differentiate this function now. So we have f prime 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 x is equal to 2 times 3 times c sub 3 times x. Actually, no. The parentheses of x minus 1 just is just gone because we differentiated it. And then we are and then following along we have plus 2 times 3 times 4 times c sub 4 times x minus 1 plus 3 times 4 times 5 times c sub 5 times x minus 1 to the power of 2 plus dot dot dot. Setting at setting x as equal to 1, we have f prime 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 1, which then is just equal to 2 times 3 times c sub 3. And here it says that f prime 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 1 is equal to e. So we have c sub 3. 3's value is e over 2 times 3. So now we differentiate this function. So we have f to the power of 4x, which is equal to e, I mean 2, times 3 times 4 times c sub 4, plus 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times c sub 5 times x minus 1 plus dot dot dot. Then we, then we set our x as equal to 1, our value as, a, as equal to 1, so we have f to the power of 5, 1, which is equal to, oh no, I made a mistake. Before we do that, we were supposed to set x as equal to 1, for our f to the power of 4 x. So we have f to the power of 4, 1, which is equal to 2 times 3 times 4 times c sub 4. Then here it says that f to the power of 4, 1 is equal to e. We have our value as c sub 4 is equal to e over 2 times 3 times 4. And now we differentiate this function now. So we have f to the power of 5. f to the power of 5x is equal to 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times c sub 5 then plus dot dot dot. Setting our value as x as equal to 1, we have f to the power of 5, 1, is equal to 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times c sub 5. And here it says that f to the power of 5, 1 is equal to e. So we get our answer as the value of c sub 5, is equal to e over 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. So now we won't be needing these notes anymore.
and we will be using those spaces. Now, simply, those things have been written down. We will substitute these back into our original e to the power of x x's function as being expressed in a polynomials as being shifted to the right or the left sides of the graph. So we have e to the power of x is equal to c sub 0 is equal to e and plus c sub 1 there it says that it is that is equal to e so we have e times x minus 1 plus c sub 2 is equal to e e over 2 so we have e times x minus 1 to the power of 2 over 2 plus c sub 3 is equal to e over 2 times 3 so we have e times x minus 1 to the power of 3 all over by 2 times 3 plus c sub 4 is equal to e over 2 times 3 times 4. So we have e times x minus 1 to the power of 4 over 2 times 3 times 4. Plus c sub 5 is equal to e over 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. So we have e times x minus 1 to the power of 5 all over by 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. 5 plus dot dot dot. Looking at these pattern very carefully, for our bottom, bottom's value, so for example we have 2, the next term we have 2 times 3, the next term we have 2 times 3 times 4, it is actually a factorial. Factorial, that's the... I don't know what the x is called, I think it's a numerator or denominator. But I will just call it the bottom. So our bottom for e, just the value of e, is equal to e over 0 factorial. Then plus e to the power of x minus 1 is all over by 1 factorial. Plus e to the e times x minus 1 to the power of 2 over 2 factorial. Then plus e times x minus 1 to the power of 3 over 2, I mean 3 factorial, plus e times x minus 1 to the power of 4 over 4 factorial, plus e times x minus 1 over 5, I mean to the power of 5 over 5 factorial plus dot dot dot. And now we have just found our answer e to the power of x in a Taylor series when the center c is equal to 1. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye.